uh, because I was, as I was saying, because I got involved with the media, so then the best thing that happened, I think, over this last three years was getting invited to be the host of sh uh, shooting documentaries, being the juche, you know, Jilu Pian juche, right? So it started It started with CGTN, who asked me to start shooting poverty alleviation documentaries. Mm -hmm. And um, so first I went to Wuzhou in Guangxi, to the Liu Bao, Liu Bao Tea Village. Mm -hmm. So there I am in the countryside with the, I, they sent me out to the countryside up on the, in the tea farms, in the tea hills down in Guangxi province. I was with the ladies picking tea, <laughs> you know, picking the tea right. with the big baskets of tea. Mm. And I was like, wow, and I'm getting, and they're paying me to do this, right? <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I was like, I was working. Right. So then I would be there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the fields with the ladies picking tea or I'm with the guy and the, the lady in the factory and she's showing me how they, how they roll the tea, you know, roll, mm. they, they have the big, the tea, they roll the tea and then they dry it and then they roll. So the old, the yeah, the old cooking it and rolling it. Yes. And this whole process and the old lady, she's like 80 years old and she's showing me and they're filming me. So then I'm doing this. I'm having fun with the lady rolling the tea. And then I turn and look at the camera and tell and tell everybody what I'm doing. And I thought, gosh, this is so much fun. Right. <laughs> and this, this was work. I mean, this was this was sharing with the world. And if anything does what Jason, you said to me yesterday, you know, hopefully what we can do is win over some hearts and minds, right? I mean, that's what we want to do. This is the real world. This is real life. So we did that. And then the second place I went was in the middle of Sichuan, in the middle of nowhere, like an hour and a half from Chengdu, a place called Duyang. And there was a guy with his family in the village. They were never going to get to the ocean. His parents were really old. So this guy brought the ocean to them. He built, he invest, he made money. He invested and built a giant water park there oh, in the wow. middle of Sichuan. That's what he did. And, but, and the point is, is that along the way of doing that, he created an economy. Mm -hmm. He created jobs. He, he, he worked with the local government there. And this is what poverty alleviation in China is all about. It's there's local businessmen who have money. They cooperate together with the local. It's at, always at the municipal level. It's always these are the projects that are happening at the municipal level with the support of Beijing to raise up the local lifestyles and income levels of the local people. And that's what Fupin is. Mm. Poverty alleviation, right. right? Then the third place I went, the third place I went wasn't well, it was accidental poverty alleviation, it was the but it was more about history, which was the Tan Man fishing village on Hainan Island, uh, just north of Boao, um, and uh, on the coast near Chonghai on Hainan's east coast. Mm. That is actually a better place to go on holiday than Sanya. Uh. Don't tell the Sanya <laughs> Tourist Bureau. Don't tell the Sanya Tourist Bureau I said that, right? Um, that area is, is quieter. It's more wild and rustic now, where I got to say Sanya has really been, it's really commercially developed now. A lot like, it's like Cancun, you know? Um, and, you know, I mean, look, if you're going to stay on a five-star hotel at the beach, it doesn't matter. You're having a good time anyway. But if you want to go to where it's more rustic and less developed, then go to the Tanman Fishing Village and uh, Chonghai and Boao area. Well, the thing is, this is China's oldest harbor going back over a thousand years. Mm -hmm. Wow, what history I learned. And we were filming along the fishing along the harbor and with you know with the old the old junk uh the old junks they're yeah, called yeah. junks the the old wooden fishing boats going in and out of the harbor what an experience to do these kinds of things so because i wanted to you know it, it's right along the lines of mr ma's china adventures right these are the this is the real history and culture of china mm -hmm. and then cctv called me so this was like, these are the big kahunas. I don't have to tell you, right? CCTV Direct, they called me. And they said, we're doing an international documentary. Um, six episodes, 30 minutes each. And we want you to host two of the episodes. Mm. I said, okay. I'm like, wow, great. So in order, now listen, listen to the time. In order to fulfill the production of a 30-minute show and to, to host a 30-minute show, two of them, mm -hmm. that's a total of one hour, right? How much time do you need to spend on the road with the CCTV film crew to end up with 
one hour of documentary. Answer, 30 days on the road wow. with the film crew. Unbelievable. They said, you're gonna meet the film crew in Lonjo. You're gonna do the last journey, last part of the journey. The story is called Red Star Rising based on Ed Snow, mm -hmm. Edward Snow's book, mm -hmm. Red Star Rising. And that. you're gonna do the, you're gonna re, yeah, and you're gonna retrace, you're gonna, the long, you're gonna retrace the path of the long march wow. Wow. from Sichuan to Yan'an and you're going to you're doing the last third of it from Shanxi uh, from Gansu province down around Dingbian and up to Yan'an the revolutionary base where Mao went to rescue his colleague I forget his name um Li De Gong oh I can't remember he went to rescue the colleague he heard was trapped was trapped there and met up with the Soviet revolutionaries in Yan'an and that and that's where it ended and then a few years later as we all know the country kept they kept building from there and then ultimately in 49 they declared china the people's republic of china so i got to trace mao mao and the third and the eighth army's journey of the long march mm. wow. and amazing. talk about it uh, during these document what what an amazing experience for for me i'm like wow right and i'm on the road with my and i got my boy my boy is like nine years and i'm on the road with him and we chat you know and i'm doing the video we chat with him all day long and i'm showing him where i am and all this stuff i'm doing what an amazing wonderful experience so like every country china has this history and the long marches talking about patriotism something mm -hmm. everyone in the country needs to understand and should be proud of right. every country has these experience every country has these experiences the united states had its civil war mm -hmm. europe had many of their own wars etc wow you've been yeah. busy for the past 24 years all these interesting experiences yeah and yeah Hello. Hello.